Get ready for some shooting stars this August. I'm Vanu Chief Meteorologist Matt Standards. Arguably one of the most popular meteor showers. The Perseids are on display for August, but they peak on August 13th. Uh, that's when you'll probably see the most shooting stars in the night sky. The reason why it's one of the most popular ones is just because we're in the warm season. It's easier to go outside. You don't have to bundle up like crazy. You can sit out there and watch them. But this year may be the one of the best years for viewing in five years because of the moon. You notice sometimes when you're sitting out there watching the shooting stars, the moon can just be so full and so bright. You really can't see the shooting stars. There's too much light. Well, this year, it's down to 14% illumination. We have a waning crescent moon. You only see that small sliver of the moon, and that's going to make it much more uh, easily seen for those meteor showers. You see the shooting stars passing across the sky. So this is what the constellation looks like. We're going to let you know here in a moment where to even look to see this constellation. Uh, but you can see Perseus. That's generally... Uh, this is the reason why you call them the Perseids, where the radiant is of the shooting stars, where it looks like all the shooting stars are coming from. That's called the radiant. And the radiant generally is towards the constellation Perseus. If you remember, Perseus was the one uh, that beheaded Medusa, the one with the snake hair, would turn you to stone if you looked at her, and he used his shield in order to uh, combat her and to find her. That's Perseus, and that's the hero. And this is him. You can see kind of his legs and then the rest of his body. But the radiant is just kind of near his shoulder and head here off towards the left. So you're going to look for this, uh, especially for August 13th. I have a couple other notes. The reason why we didn't have it is generally to get a, a shooting star, you've got some sort of comet going across the sky. And there's the comet. It's called 109P slash Swift Tuttle. Swift Tuttle, uh, those are the guys that uh, found the, the comet in the 1800s. But... That comet is passing through, so that's why on its journey towards the sun, so that's why we even see uh, the shooting stars in the first place. So where are you going to even look? Well, for mid-August, what you want to do is you want to look towards the north and northeastern sky. That's where it takes place just after sunset. So after sunset, you'll start to see Perseus come across the horizon. And then throughout the night, it just goes almost dead center. And so by sunrise, it's pretty much dead top of the sky. So you start kind of in the north, northeast, and then you'll watch it just slowly go up. It kind of swings as it goes up, but north and northeast, and then look straight up if you're trying to watch, you know, right before sunrise. But if you're trying to just do it right after sunset, maybe give yourself until 10, 1030 for more of the dark skies to come on in. You should be able to see the constellation. And especially on the top side of that constellation, you'll be able to see some of those meteors. You may see them across the whole sky, but it will kind of look like they're coming from that location. So peak is Sunday, August 13th, and on the peak, we are expecting 50 to 100 meteors per hour, and these things are moving 37 miles per second. So look up, and hopefully you can enjoy the view.